it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome happy pride if you guys want to see more of this rainbow look please check out my Instagram or my TikTok. I will have plenty for you to see on there. But today's video is not about my rainbow look. It is about what has Samantha March made me buy. If you've been around YouTube for a while, or at least beauty YouTube, you would know that it was a trend to make videos um, just showing the products that a certain beauty guru influenced you to buy. And I don't know if I've ever done one of these, but if I have, it's been a heckin' long time. And I watch Samantha March, it feels like, almost every day, so she's definitely influenced me to buy a lot of things. And I've put together a list of 10 things, so if you're interested in hearing what those are, then let's get started. So I've, I've got a list of 10 things. At the top of the list is the Ofra Samantha Marsh Collapse. So I have all of the cheek products, the Chiclet Blush, the River Bronzer, the start inspired highlight i highly recommend them all they're all wonderful and then the three glosses milani p milani millie peony and queen and i love them so much and then the last item of course is the life's a draft palette and it has the shadows and the cheek products and i love all of these items they're so so good and <laughs> I, I'm really not mad that I was influenced to purchase them. The second thing that I was influenced to purchase is by Samantha March products. She, uh, I think it was last year, launched her own sort of like paper goods brand. So I actually I asked for it for Christmas. Um, <laughs> this is the week at a glance. I honestly don't find this one to fit in super well with my planning style but it's cute and I do use it sometimes but I probably am not going to repurchase it. I just the little things the focus film and upload like I do so much more than that. I'm working on TikToks, Instagram reels, um, Instagram pictures and posts and YouTube so there's like just to break it down into like these teeny three small spaces for what I'm doing for the day. Plus I batch film and I do things most of the time all in the same day. I don't know. I like it, but I don't think it's the perfect thing for me, but it, I like it. It's good quality. And then this is the daily habits notebook. Let me just rip off the one where I have like stuff written on it. Okay, it has a to-do section, a daily habit section, a schedule, and a gratitude area. I do really like this because I like it so much. I have been found to put it aside to save and cherish and only use on special days. I don't know. It's weird, but I like it a lot. Um, I should actually get my use out of it and start using it every day, but I just keep it for like when I want to feel special. I don't know. It's really nice though. And speaking of healthy habits, Samantha has a deck of healthy habits and she, it's like, like a card deck that has a, a, a different healthy habit on every single card. And I really liked that idea but looking into exactly what the cards were, I knew it was not specifically for me. But I liked the idea. So she, without directly trying to, influenced me to purchase these. <laughs> these are affirmators, so they're similar to the deck of healthy habits but instead of a healthy habit it's an affirmation so this is the original affirmators and i have two other specialized desks but let me just show you 
like they have fun cards with drawings like the story of my life and then they have like where are the bonus cards um like this one they have bonus cards and they're really really nice I love doing them I even got more because I loved them so much. I got the creativity affirmators to help me when I'm not feeling motivated but I know I really should create content. And then the love and relationships. I love pulling these cards with my husband. It's such a fun positive and like constructive activity for us to do together. I really like these. So even though she didn't directly influence me to get those affirmators, like seeing her deck of healthy habits inspired me and influenced me to look for something similar that would more fit what I'm looking for. Okay, hi. I know I look drastically different. It is the next morning. I woke up and I was doing my skincare and I realized I forgot the most recent and one of the most special products that Samantha March made me buy. So she, gosh, I have no sense of time. She recently, to me, recently did a Tula video. This is the Tula um, Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen. And um, this might be too much glow for you. This is natural lighting, no ring lights or anything. But... This is how glowy it leaves my skin and lately I've just been wearing this and walking out the door and I feel freaking beautiful <laughs> and I don't know I I I I'm so glad Samantha Marsh made me buy it and I also wanted to say I was looking through the footage I forgot to mention I am um, I will have everything linked below. Some of the links are affiliate links. I appreciate if you support my channel. But yeah, just see how glowy that made my hand. So stunning. And like, it's, I think, considered like a clean brand if that matters to you. But I'm really obsessed with this and really glad that Samantha made me buy it. Anyway, on to the actual cool look in video. Number three, <laughs> the Dior powder. Oh my gosh, I love the Dior powder. It is technically called the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. I have the shade 2N and it looks a little darker I think than my skin but it actually matches it quite well and it is the most magical powder if you have any mistakes anything that needs smoothing blurring anything it, it's it fixes everything it's magic <laughs> I can't I, I can't explain it and I will be so sad if they discontinue it and I can't get it anymore Number four is a couple of mascaras she has influenced me to buy. This is the Anti-Gravity from Milani and then a mini of the Rare Beauty Mascara. Now I typically don't like the fluffy type wands because I feel like they clump up my lashes. I prefer the plasticky ones because I feel they're more separating. But I really love this one. This one is really, really nice and beautiful. It leaves your lashes so wispy and long. And then the highly rated has that type of plasticky wand that I like. But it's more of like an hourglass shape. And the formula is beautiful. Like I, I don't regret getting either of these. Number five is Kaja. Samantha talks about Kaja all the time. She uses their face stacks, their eye stacks, all the products. So like a year or two ago, I bought a holiday set with a lipstick, a highlighter, a blush, and an eye stack. And this is the eye stack. It's called Buttercup Bubbly. It has a brown matte, an orange shimmer, and a gold shimmer. And I really like it. I definitely want to try more from Kaja. I'm really interested in that face stack with like the cream bronzer product. Um, but you know, I'm on a low buy. So we'll see. The six items. 
<laughs> that Samantha Marsh made me buy are my Sigma palettes. I have Enchanted, Corda Rosa, and Untamed, and they're they're so freaking amazing. Oh my god. I love the quality of Sigma shadows and the color stories in these three. I'll just show them to you. They're so beautiful. I want more, but the thing is, these are like $40 to $50 a piece, and that's a lot of money. Um, so this is the three that I have for now, but they're so nice. This one is like a grungy rainbow situation. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah, so... I definitely want to pick up more from Sigma, but that's what I got for now, and it was definitely influenced by Samantha and probably Angelica, too. Number seven is the super hyped and always out of stock Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This one, as you can see, I have used quite a bit, but this one I don't know if I would repurchase because the shade is awfully dark. Um... It's, it's like very dark and it's always very hard to find and it's very expensive and I feel like I can find more accessible, more affordable stuff in better colors for my skin. Even though this is lovely, I do think it's overhyped. Number eight is the Natasha Denona Midi Love. I did not purchase this for the longest time but then last year it went on sale for 50% off and Samantha was like always talking about how this was her favorite Natasha Denona palette and I was like at 50% at off I can't not get it like I, I, I can't not get it and it's so beautiful I love this one for like Valentine's Day or romantic looks it's really nice it de Natasha Denona definitely redeemed herself in my eyes from the Tropic palette because the full size Tropic palette was, you know. Number nine, we're already on number nine, holy shit, this is going so fast. Um, this is the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Glaze in the shade Cupcake and this is really good. I love this as like a glowy mauve blush. It works on the lips too. I don't really like a glossy product on the eyes, but you can use it on the eyes. But I definitely want to try more of these color fixes because I know they have matte and metallic ones and you can use them in really artistic ways. And this one is so good. I can't imagine that the other ones wouldn't be amazing. Number 10. Of all the things Samantha Marsh made me buy, <laughs> this is the ColourPop Limoncello palette, and it is such a stunning summery color story. Very like neutral, but with pops and really good, like the good ColourPop quality. I really enjoy it, and I am not upset that Samantha influenced me to buy it. But I'm sure there are more things in my collection that I just couldn't think of think of off the top of my head that were influenced by her but if you guys watch Samantha and she influences you what have you bought because of her and if you watch other influencers you know what have they done their job and made you purchase and if you guys want to see me do this again with other youtubers that I watch please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!